Hello everyone, we have got some very big news. Now, credit where credit is due, Walmart.com. Uh, they just decided to say, hey, two days ago, Glide Rock Tavor. So this is our first look at an actual Speedstorm product and it's impressive. How impressive? Well, we're gonna get into that. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new here. Once there is more that gets revealed, as we are still looking, uh, we will do more videos on it. This is Glide Rock to Bore. The wheel is looking on point, although I want to actually hold a wheel disc in my hand just to compare. I do believe the wheel disc is slightly smaller. I could, it could be just the angle, but I, I'm pretty sure that the wheel disc on Hasbro is slightly smaller than the original. You can look at that uh, revolver. Speedstorm has the exact colors as the Takeratomi and it has metal weighting on it. So, Walmart said the price was about 10 bucks, right? So, could be just Toys R Us, but I still think the price, uh, I think we are still right on one thing that uh, the metal is definitely legit as we can uh, see right there. Yeah, again, it depends on the retailers. I think I pretty much already made the conclusion that uh, probably Canada will be raised, but we still managed to get it confirmed uh, on the system. So this is what it looks like with the bay on the side. And let's just take a moment to look at uh, Rock Tavor. So they are unfortunately still missing a little bit of detail on the layers. I really do wish, uh, especially now, they did get the detail. On the wings, there's detail, and surprisingly, they did decent detail on the chip. It's really just on the, the other side wings, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Unfortunately, there is no chassis system uh, for Hasbro. It is what it is. Instead, it's just molded on there. That is going to be a heavy toll on the actual layers of themselves since, you know, there's not much weight on it, but, Let's take a look at the back, specifically enhance the image. There is the actual gimmick on the lair. So Rocktivore had the gimmick where the wings spread out and you can actually see it there on the packaging. So in a way, it's kind of switch stripe. It's kinda, I say kinda. It's not completely to the Karatomi because it looks like they modified wheel and it does look like uh, you know, the, well, I mean, yeah, they don't have the chassis system, but as far as the customization goes, unfortunately, it does not look like it is Rise compatible. If you look at the shape of the chip in the base, it does not look like you can put Daily Burst Rise chips on uh, Surge base, which, unfortunate, but is it really unexpected? It's not really that unexpected, although I think they would have benefited more if it was cross compatible with Rise, since you know, if the things don't have the gimmicks, that would have been their best move, but uh, I guess Surge only with Surge. Uh, as far as everything else goes, uh, the Revolve looks crazy. I mean, the stats there, we already get it. Agility, weight, defense, boost, attack, stamina. And there is an actual metal weight bit. So that's their way of kind of like, well, th they put metal, but you know, they need to put metal in the other places, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so let's actually go over to the description that it actually has uh, for Glide Rock Tavor, and then after I'm just gonna go and just talk about my thoughts. So, going over this. Spinning top for Bayway Burst Battles includes the right spin speed from Glide Rock Tavor, D81, TSP04-M, stamina, type top, and launcher. Battle in the Speedstorm, Speedstorm competitive battle on top are designed to harness the power of the Speedstorm base stadium. Battle features includes a performance tip with some metallic parts for a heavy metal hit, stabilizing wings in the energy layer, and right spin and right spin storm chip component. Uh, digital battle. Okay, here we go. Supercharge the battle strategy with daily burst speed storm tech. Launching to head to head speed storm tops by Hasbro. Specialized speed storm spinning tops are designed to harness the power of the inescapable power vortex and an energy zone to the center of the stadium. Uh, base game designed to pull tops in and give them an ultimate speed boost. Hmm. I wonder what it means by pull tops in. Let me double check if I'm reading that right. Spin tops, yeah, harness power in the center of the stadium. It's designed to pull tops in and give them the ultimate speed boost. Do you think maybe the stadiums have some magnets in it? I, 
I think it, shouldn't it? Maybe. Cause it's just, I don't know if it's just like, if it's just like that wacky marketing phrasing, but uh, it sounds interesting when they say to like pull them in, like pull them in. Not just saying, oh, they just go on the thing and then after they go and do it. So if you're wondering how it should work, uh, if you've seen the speed trials before on stadiums, it's just like that. And I guess they just drop to the center. If you've, if you've seen the Surge anime, which is sparking for Japanese, uh, that's pretty much what they do. So that's very interesting. That's very interesting. So going over to this other part, it may have just been the same thing. Yeah, same idea. So going over this now, Speedstorm seems pretty impressive. Better than Slingshock? Yes. Better than Hypersphere? Well, I mean, it has the gimmick, so I guess it's got it there. Now, the real question is going to be now for Hasbro, how far are they going to go with everything? Now, we could have some pretty good news for Curse Satoom, meaning that Satoom could have the rollers actually work on it. But the ones that I have the feeling that's like, hmm. What about Brave Valtriac? Because in the app, it definitely looks hollowed out, so I don't think Valtriac's going to have the rubber unless they put it very limited. Because of how the gimmicks are, because of how the gimmicks are, I wonder, because they're marketing the gimmicks on the thing like it's Switch Strike. So do you think m m maybe we could get some layers where it does feature the gimmicks? What do you think? So you think Brave, no rubber, or, or maybe some rubber, or no rubber at all? Maybe, you know what, Fafnir and Switch Strike had rubber? Yeah, but that, yeah, but Geist didn't, and Wizard didn't. No, no, he's not serious. That thing was also to on my, to my next thing. What do you think about Rage? Actually, we don't know what Rage is called. What do you think about uh, Lunar's uh, Rage Longinus for Hasbro? Do you think maybe the 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 Spark Ring or what do they call it again? I don't know. The ring. Do you think that, uh, that it might have metal on the thing or no? Because it's going to be limited, so they might. Lucifer doesn't have a gimmick. This could, if they manage to pull it off, this could be pretty good, but I want to see to what extent. I am very curious for other tips like charge metal. What's going to happen? Is it going to be charge metal metal? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, this has very good potential and I am very impressed by Hasbro. Now, of course, they could go almost all the way. We can almost get it 100%, but this is still pretty good. Uh, I would say though, since wheel does look smaller, and obviously we already know the glide ring is hollowed out, but it's going to be a little bit more hollowed out than KT is. It still should, I don't think the gap should be too big, but I still think we're going to get that weight gap. Uh, we don't know anything on two packs. We don't know anything on singles or any other starters, but we will do uh, more videos as time goes on. Another thing, which is just a quick update on the, on the site uh, for Surge, uh, World Surprise is the confirmed name, right? Yep. So uh, that's another thing I want to talk about. What about, what are they, now I think for the chips that have the metal on them, no, they're not going to do it. Unfortunate, but I don't think they're going to do it. I think for the, I forget, whatever Lucifer Hasbro is, or Vex, whatever, uh, Spriggan, they're probably not. Now for other base too, I do suspect that Hasbro will probably get around to doing Death in Abyss and like any other sparking bays that aren't in the anime since they did Mythodux, they're doing, they did the random booster prize bays, they did Cosmic, right? It's a matter of time. Let's see how they pull it off. It could be at least somewhat decent. I think uh, even if you hate Hasbro, right? It's pretty tolerable right now. Because this is like basically the closest thing to Switch Strike. Closer than Turbo. Closer than Turbo. Well, we have to see to what extent, okay? We have to see to what extent. But that, that, that's, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. And tell me, are you, what are your thoughts on Speedstorm before the video and after seeing the video? Were you a bit skeptical? Do you still have hope? Do you still, are you still excited? What do you hope to see? Let me know all that in the comment section below. And again, huge, huge shout out to walmart.com for providing it. And that's gonna be it for now. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome and amazing day.